Who are you? Jeff, it's a tar truck. What are you doing, man? What's your dig? What's your niche? Dude, well, hanging out with uh, Billy Otto <laughs> right now. No, I'm uh, currently at uh, Bering Springs, Michigan, uh, finishing up my seminary degree, and uh, yeah. So dude, you're quite an innovative character, and what is it about, like, do you enjoy starting things? Like, tell us about that. You're not really fully in the box. Yeah, uh, nah, man, I, uh, I don't believe that, uh, I believe we've all kind of been created to be creative people. Uh, God has given us that gift from the very beginning to, uh, to start something um, that doesn't exist. Um, and I think uh, giving us the resources and tools to be able to do so is essential to making that happen. And uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm big on believing that, uh, yeah, we have that creative ability inside of us, whether it's songwriting, whether it's creating a product, a nonprofit, um, writing a blog. It, uh, it's just expressing that creativity and uh, doing so. Awesome, man. So tell us about Haystack. The Haystack.tv um, is a site for Adventist young adults to uh, kind of go to a place to find out what's going on within the Adventist church, to connect with uh, social media, uh, with blogs, videos, memes, different stuff to share with us. Uh, not really create an Adventist culture, but to be curators of Adventist culture, to talk about exactly uh, what's going on in the Adventist church, um, just so that we can be aware, I uh, guess, of what's going on. And so, yeah, it's a bunch of guys, we're all volunteers, um, who believe in quality media, and uh, who believe in the message of the Adventist church, and wanted to see sort of the, all of those things combined. And so we decided to start the Haystack, which has this idea where when you have a Haystack potluck, you know, somebody brings the chips, somebody brings the beans, um, so it brings the cheese and uh, at the end of the day you have this awesome haystack and so each person has an opportunity to bring something to the table and that's what we believe in the haystack that every single person um, in the Adventist church has something to contribute to the larger picture um, of the church and of uh, the message of Jesus so that's what we're about man. and um, so how do you see this generation and this understanding of the third place um, that conversation like tell us about that how you understand living missionally, intentionally, tell us about that. Yeah, um, well I'm a, I'm a firm believer, you know, I've done a lot of uh, ministry in, in various contexts, Bible work, pastor, evangelist, and uh, yeah, working outside of those positions, um, meeting people where they are has had a huge impact on my life. Um, you know, people will go from home to work and there's usually some place in between where they'll stop, whether it's a cafe, whether it's a restaurant, a library, um, somewhere else, whether a gym, um, where they're going to spend most of their time away from work or home. And so I really believe that the church should be a community where that third space exists. A lot of times church is just an event center where we hold an event once or twice a week. People come out and they go home, but they, uh, yeah, it's not a place where people want to hang out. And so creating that third space within the church context, I think is essential. And I think it can be done in many ways through, um, you know, a cafe, uh, music venue. Uh, right now I, I own a CrossFit gym here in Barrington Springs and people come out five, six days a week and I see these people and I'm learning about their lives. Um, I'm seeing them grow, develop and get better and uh, yeah it's just become this third space that I think we need to penetrate um, and just make available for people in order to uh, yeah, reach people for the gospel sort of here in North America. So That's yeah, great man. Makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. Have you got any um, just last words for, for young guys within our denomination that are a bit discouraged or not really sure about direction and trying to find their place within our movement? Or Because there are a lot of young guys that you know that leave every year. Yeah. So as a masculine yeah. young leader, mate, like, yeah. Yeah, any words for those guys? Um, yeah, my, my, my advice would be hold on to Jesus. Um, and go in faith in whatever endeavor God has placed on your heart. Um, don't hold back. Um, it's easier now to follow the, the vision that God has put on your heart now than ever before. There's so many resources that are available for, for so cheap um, that you can pursue and be sustained. And, and my, my advice would be just to go and do it. Don't be afraid. Um, live your passion, live your dreams, and uh, don't give up. And so, uh, and I really believe God will bless if we step out in faith and 
and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've failed a lot in life and I've learned more from my failures than I ever could um, in, in any education that I could have paid for. And so don't be afraid, step out and uh, yeah, go boldly and just don't give up. I know it seems like this, this ship is sinking, but uh, yeah, hold on to Jesus and, and it won't sink. Epic, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Thank you. <laughs>